everybody and welcome to another episode of Geek Talk and uh, this time I will do the test uh, of the UV box that I built myself uh, for alternative process. As I said uh, I built a UV box and you can find uh, the video here and the article where you can uh, find all the details of this build included the circuit and the program that I used for the timer and so on. So check it out if you are curious about that. But uh, now I want to do the second step. I didn't test this, I know it works, but I didn't practically test the thing. So I'm here with my happy uh, darkroom t-shirt, by the way you can find down in the link, and uh, uh, for the Van Dyke Brown process, uh, I prepared the paper and you can see here a little short about that. Here you can see how I prepared the, the emulsion for the Van Dyke uh, process. First of all, I used uh, a kit from uh, Lab All Tech 2000, that is uh, an European uh, uh, distributor and producer of these kits, and I bought it from uh, uh, actually an Italian store that was keep. Uh, I know that uh, the idea to read the instruction is always something that uh, we males pretend to we know everything but in this case read the instruction. Um, to mix chemicals is a little bit dangerous. These chemicals can hurt you uh, especially your eyes and so on. So wear gloves, wear protection and for your eyes and follow all the instruction in the best way. So the process is very simple to prepare the emulsion. Basically you have three, three different elements and uh, you have to mix uh, the elements in a separate way uh, following some uh, specific order and then you mix all them together uh, with the right amount of uh, water and by the way it must be distilled water and then at the point uh, the emulsion is kind of ready to uh, use. You still have to let the emulsion rest for 24 hours is the best thing you can do but uh, uh, that is a very easy process. After the 24 hours of rest you can start to use the emulsion and prepare the paper. And as you see here uh, I'm starting to prepare the paper is 24 hours later and uh, uh, by the way the kit I got was fantastic only problem it didn't have the cap for the bottles so I had to use a glove with some tape but here you see that I try to uh, it's my first experiment so I'm uh, putting the emulsion on the paper and I'm trying kind of uh, different methods and different quantities of uh, uh, emulsion and uh, you will see this is something that uh, I have to really refine because uh, uh, some uh, papers came out very good some others have some little problem like uh, little parts uh, of the print that uh, are not uh, uh, properly coated so you see some uh, uh, white uh, spots uh, and um, white areas uh, in the paper. By the way I like to use the, the brush because uh, when you use the brush the borders and everything are kind of it's already something artistic. You look at the print and it gives you the idea that this is handmade uh, paper and handmade print. So it's something that I like uh, to have this irregular uh, contour of the print uh, and that is um, something that for me is very nice. I will try it next time uh, with, the, uh, with the rod, with the glass rod uh, pushing the emulsion to see if we become better. Here I put uh, all the paper to dry in my dry rack and most important of all clean everything really well. Uh, again these are chemicals that you don't want to mess with them too much. It's nothing too dangerous if you use the right precautions but it can be very dangerous for your eyes and you can put uh, some uh, uh, problem to your skin. So be very careful. And this is done. I clean everything well and let's go on. Paper is ready and 
uh, now for me is the moment to do the first test. The Van Dyke process is pretty simple and it's just uh, a developer in water with uh, a little addition of uh, citric acid and uh, the fixer that is the hyposulfate and nothing more. So and obviously there will be the need to wash uh, the, the print properly. So uh, let me start with the preparation and uh, I will talk to you uh, more about this going on. Before the preparation let's talk about uh, how I took the images. I decided to take two different subjects with a 8x10 camera and is a Campbell agent, nice camera and uh, I used two different subjects. Uh, one is this flower subject that you can see here and I painted the light uh, on it uh, and I did something that was uh, kind of soft. I want a soft su subject. The second one is the interior of a Pentax 645. A uh, nice camera with uh, a lot of gears inside. So the idea was to have a subject that is absolutely sharp so I can check uh, um, very well the sharpness of the process. So I did it, it was not painted light, I just uh, put a fixed light and a diffuser on the other side, take the exposure and was done. And here you can see the negative is drying and is almost ready for the finally the test print that I was I'm going to do and I'm going to show you uh, the process. Here is how I prepare the developer and the fixer. The developer is nothing more than distilled water uh, with uh, a little add of citric acid. And uh, to add the citric acid, you don't need to be very precise. The idea is just to give some uh, acidity to the water. And you can use citric acid, you can use acetic acid, and so on. In the kit, there was citric acid that is kind of safer, probably, than the uh, acetic acid so I use the citric acid as as you can see I just put uh, a little bit of it inside uh, the water without uh, caring too much uh, about uh, the quantity it doesn't make really the difference the important is that it will keep uh, the acid uh, um, the pH in the proper way when you develop so this is the this is the developer the fixer is uh, even easier because the fixer is uh, hyposulfate and uh, there's a in the kit you just have to put some water in it and prepare the liquid version of it so uh, the hyposulfate uh, it's something that will last uh, a lot of time uh, and uh, you reuse it every time and again uh, too bad that in this kit uh, the caps uh, were of the bottles were missing so I have to use that uh, tip of the finger glove uh, to close the bottle and uh, some uh, tape around it but uh, once the once the fixer is um, poured in the tank and uh, everything is done and it's easy and we are ready to proceed and finally do the tests. Here I plug in the UV box that I built and uh, I will show you how I made the test to establish the correct exposure for the Van Dyke process and my negatives in this case. So first of all you need uh, uh, obviously a frame uh, to put uh, in contact the negative with the paper and uh, for the test I used just uh, a strip of paper basically I took one of the sheets of paper and I cut it in three different parts and uh, I use this method to obviously save paper and I don't need to see all the image to do the initial test. Now I put the paper down in the frame, obviously I take off the clips and uh, put the strip of paper under the glass with uh, obviously uh, the negative sandwich on it. It is important always to put the negative with the emulsion side down on the emulsion of the paper to have sharper uh, results. Uh, I did it wrong uh, once in a, in a print. I have a print you will see at the end. One is flipped and you can really see uh, 
the sharpness difference. Uh, what I did here, I had put the border of the negative uh, in a way that is visible in my content print because something that I want to check is to the difference between uh, where there's uh, no barrier at all and when there's just the base and fog of the negative that you can see on the border because my idea is that my total black must be that uh, uh, the base and fog of the negative remain indistinguishable from uh, the part when there's nothing on it so i prepared everything like that and i decided to go with steps that are a couple of minutes from each other move the camera to let you see better what i'm doing so again i said two minutes in my timer interval of two minutes i put the frame inside the box and something important since i want to make uh, different steps is uh, to have uh, a black uh, sheet of paper to cover different strips. I start with the two minutes exposure for general things and I obviously I will not show you all the two minutes and we jump uh, to the next uh, uh, part. The two minutes ended and I'm ready to put the sheet of black paper over the negative so uh, only a part will be exposed. And in this way I'm doing another two minutes and I will do other two minutes and the idea is to have steps that is two, four, six, eight minutes of exposure. Two minutes ended, I rise, I move again the sheet of paper, so I will have uh, another strip with two added minutes. And that's the whole idea. This is a very easy process to do and you must be precise to check the times. I used full power and as I said, it was two, four, six and eight minutes. Once it's done, we can pass to the developing phase. I just immersed the strip test in the developer in the water, distilled water with citric acid. And uh, the idea is to wash it a little uh, so you take away all the non-exposed part uh, of the emulsion and uh, it's a kind of uh, a minute in there and you will see uh, when it changes something that is visible uh, by the way the orange in the the came out from uh, the prints is pretty impressive and uh, the orange will go away uh, as soon as the paper is fixed but that orange is very very impressive and uh, when the paper is uh, in the developer it looks very very lighter than the final image uh, um, fixed and dried so time to fix the paper just put in the fixer in the hyposulfate and the idea is to leave it there a minute or so and as you can see it turns uh, brown and lose the oranges things and it darken a lot the print darkens already so it's already a way to check if there was uh, there were mistakes uh, very huge mistakes in the exposure and here for example i think that the eight minutes are a little too less and then uh, you have to dry wash and dry the print to do a real test because when the print is dry it changes again uh, in this case uh, uh, i was looking at this uh, when I decided when I washed the print and I decided to do uh, another test uh, strip uh, and do it with uh, longer times uh, and expose just the border of the negative and I use the other negative to do that the flower subject but uh, uh, I wanted I, I noticed from here that uh, uh, the base and fog of the negative was uh, too much lighter than the part without uh, the negative on it. Here you can see the results of the test and the first stripe uh, is uh, the one I did with the mechanical subject and it is a little bit lighter for my test in the dark area. So I decided instead of eight minutes to go on and give uh, a maximum of 12 in my test and it came out here and I like the area 
uh, the darkest area so I decided for the exposure of the next negative to do a 11 minute here is the negative that I used the that I exposed for 11 minutes and here is inserted in the developer and it's uh, here you can see the immediate change how is the paper before you insert it and the immediate change in color and the orange that came out in the zones that are uh, getting wet with the with the water here uh, simply as i did with the strip uh, just uh, wash uh, the wash the paper carefully to remove all the material the motion that is not uh, exposed and uh, uh, after couple of minutes a minute or two something like that when you see the things is okay here I'm noticing that I have a spot in the print uh, where the emulsion was not properly uh, painted on the paper so there's a white spot on the print and you can see that uh, areas in the final images so wash the print uh, passed in the fixer and you can see it becomes really darker with the beautiful darks with a beautiful deep brown tone all the orange things is going away and that is really a satisfaction it's fantastic to see uh, these tones changing and the prints getting all his uh, nuances and uh, tonalities so at the end is a very very uh, precise and easy process to make I was very satisfied my UV box uh, and by the way the timer having a timer don't having to count uh, with an external timer is really something that uh, uh, went well and here you can see the final images here the print was put to dry obviously and uh, uh, after it dried uh, you can see the final results and uh, there are two different uh, of the subject one with the emotion on the wrong side sorry and uh, uh, the other subject with the flowers in a normal version that is uh, I think I really like it and with a painted version that was painted by my girlfriend with uh, watercolors I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, let me know in the comments if you enjoy it and please if you want to support the channel check out uh, the links uh, in the, the comments uh, in the description of the video below and you can buy my books uh, and so on